Chapters 25 through 32 of the Book of Ezekiel from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Ezekiel from the World English Bible. Chapters 25 through 32. Chapter 25. The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward the children of Ammon, and prophesy against them, and tell the children of Ammon, Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Because you said, Aha, against my sanctuary, when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel, when it was made desolate, and against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity, therefore, behold, I will deliver you to the children of the east for a possession, and they shall set their encampments in you, and make their dwellings in you. They shall eat your fruit, and they shall drink your milk. I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and the children of Ammon a resting place for flocks. And you shall know that I am Yahweh. For thus says the Lord Yahweh, Because you have clapped your hands, and stamped with the feet, and rejoiced with all the despite of your soul against the land of Israel, therefore, behold, I have stretched out my hand on you, and will deliver you for a spoil to the nations, and I will cut you off from the peoples, and I will cause you to perish out of the countries. I will destroy you, and you shall know that I am Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Because Moab and Seir say, Behold, the house of Judah is like all the nations, therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities which are on his frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshemoth, Baal Maon, and Kiriathim, to the children of the east, to go against the children of Ammon. And I will give them for a possession, that the children of Ammon may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments on Moab, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Because Edom has dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and has greatly offended, and revenged himself on them. Therefore says the Lord Yahweh, I will stretch out my hand on Edom, and will cut off man and animal from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, even to Dedan shall they fall by the sword. I will lay my vengeance on Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my wrath, and they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Because the Philistines have dealt by revenge, and have taken vengeance with despite of soul to destroy with perpetual enmity, therefore says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will stretch out my hand on the Philistines, and I will cut off the Cherethites, and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. I will execute great vengeance on them with wrathful rebukes, and they shall know that I am Yahweh, when I shall lay my vengeance on them. Chapter 26 It happened in the eleventh year, in the first day of the month, that the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, because Tyre has said against Jerusalem, Aha, she is broken, the gate of the peoples, she is turned to me, I shall be replenished, now that she is laid waste. Therefore says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against you, Tyre, and I will cause many nations to come up against you, as the sea causes its waves to come up. They shall destroy the walls of Tyre, and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her, and make her a bare rock. She shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea, for I have spoken it, says the Lord Yahweh. And she shall become a spoil to the nations. Her daughters who are in the field shall be slain with the sword, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. For thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will bring on Tyre, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, king of kings, from the north, with horses, and with chariots, and with horsemen, and a company, and much people. He shall kill with the sword your daughters in the field, and he shall make forts against you, and cast up a mound against you, and raise up the buckler against you. He shall set his battering engines against your walls, and with his axes he shall break down your towers. By reason of the abundance of his horses, their dust shall cover you. Your walls shall shake at the noise of the horsemen, and of the wagons, and of the chariots, 
when he shall enter into your gates, as men enter into a city in which is made a breach. With the hoofs of his horses shall he tread down all your streets. He shall kill your people with the sword, and the pillars of your strength shall go down to the ground. They shall make a spoil of your riches, and make a prey of your merchandise. And they shall break down your walls, and destroy your pleasant houses. And they shall lay your stones, and your timber, and your dust in the midst of the waters. I will cause the noise of your songs to cease, and the sound of your harps shall be no more heard. I will make you a bare rock. You shall be a place for the spreading of nets. You shall be built no more. For I, Yahweh, have spoken it, says the Lord Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh to Tyre, Shall not the islands shake at the sound of your fall, when the wounded groan, when the slaughter is made in the midst of you? Then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones, and lay aside their robes, and strip off their embroidered garments. They shall clothe themselves with trembling. They shall sit on the ground, and shall tremble every moment, and be astonished at you. They shall take up a lamentation over you, and tell you, How are you destroyed, who were inhabited by seafaring men, the renowned city, who was strong in the sea, she and her inhabitants, who caused her terror to be on all who lived there? Now shall the islands tremble in the day of your fall. Yes, the islands that are in the sea shall be dismayed at your departure. For thus says the Lord Yahweh, When I shall make you a desolate city, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I shall bring up the deep on you, and the great waters shall cover you, then will I bring you down with those who descend into the pit, to the people of old time, and will make you to dwell in the lower parts of the earth, in the places that are desolate of old, with those who go down to the pit, that you be not inhabited. And I will set glory in the land of the living. I will make you a terror, and you shall no more have any being. Though you are sought for, yet you will never be found again, says the Lord Yahweh. Chapter 27 The word of Yahweh came again to me, saying, You, son of man, take up a lamentation over Tyre, and tell Tyre, you who dwell at the entry of the sea, who are the merchant of the peoples to many islands, thus says the Lord Yahweh, You, Tyre, have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the heart of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They have made all your planks of fir trees from Senir. They have taken a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made your oars. They have made your benches of ivory inlaid in boxwood from the islands of Kittim. Of fine linen with embroidered work from Egypt was your sail, that it might be to you for a banner, blue and purple from the islands of Elisha was your awning. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your rowers. Your wise men, Tyre, were in you. They were your pilots. The old men of Gebal and the wise men of it were in you your repairers of ship seams. All the ships of the sea, with their mariners, were in you to deal in your merchandise. Persia and Lud and Put were in your army, your men of war. They hanged the shield and helmet in you. They set forth your comeliness. The men of Arvad with your army were on your walls all around, and valorous men were in your towers. They hanged their shields on your walls all around. They have perfected your beauty. Tarshish was your merchant by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches, with silver, iron, tin, and lead, they traded for your wares. Javan, Tubal, and Meshech, they were your traffickers. They traded the persons of men and vessels of brass for your merchandise. They of the house of Togarma traded for your wares with horses and war horses and mules. The men of Dedan were your traffickers. Many islands were in the market of your hand. They brought you in exchange horns of ivory and ebony. Syria was your merchant by reason of the multitude of your handiworks. They traded for your wares with emeralds, purple, and embroidered work, and fine linen, and coral, and rubies. Judah, and the land of Israel, they were your traffickers. They traded for your merchandise wheat of minneth, and confections, and honey, and oil, and balm. Damascus was your merchant for the multitude of your handiworks, by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches, with the wine of Helbon and white wool. Vidon and Javan traded with yarn for your wares. 
bright iron, cassia, and calamus were among your merchandise. Dedan was your trafficker in precious cloths for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar, they were the merchants of your hand, in lambs and rams and goats, in these were they your merchants. The traffickers of Sheba and Ramah, they were your traffickers. They traded for your wares with the chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Cana and Eden, the traffickers of Sheba, Asher and Chilmad, were your traffickers. These were your traffickers in choice wares, in wrappings of blue and embroidered work, and in chests of rich clothing, bound with cords and made of cedar, among your merchandise. The ships of Tarshish were your caravans for your merchandise, and you were replenished and made very glorious in the heart of the seas. Your rowers have brought you into great waters, the east wind has broken you in the heart of the seas. Your riches and your wares, your merchandise, your mariners and your pilots, your repairers of ship scenes, and the dealers in your merchandise, and all your men of war, who are in you, with all your company which is in the midst of you, shall fall into the heart of the seas in the day of your ruin. At the sound of the cry of your pilots the suburbs shall shake. All who handled the oar, the mariners, and all the pilots of the sea, shall come down from their ships. They shall stand on the land, and shall cause their voice to be heard over you, and shall cry bitterly, and shall cast up dust on their heads. They shall wallow themselves in the ashes, and they shall make themselves bald for you, and gird them with sackcloth, and they shall weep for you in bitterness of soul, with bitter mourning. In their wailing they shall take up a lamentation for you, and lament over you, saying, Who is there like Tyre, like her who was brought to silence in the midst of the sea? When your wares went forth out of the seas, you filled many peoples. You did enrich the kings of the earth with the multitude of your riches and of your merchandise. In the time that you were broken by the seas in the depths of the waters, your merchandise and all your company did fall in the midst of you. All the inhabitants of the islands are astonished at you, and their kings are horribly afraid. They are troubled in their face. The merchants among the peoples hiss at you. You are become a terror, and you shall never more have any being. Chapter 28 The word of Yahweh came again to me, saying, Son of man, tell the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord Yahweh, Because your heart is lifted up, and you have said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas. Yet you are man, and not God. Though you did set your heart as the heart of God, behold, you are wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that is hidden from you. By your wisdom and by your understanding you have gotten your riches, and have gotten gold and silver into your treasures. By your great wisdom and by your traffic have you increased your riches, and your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, says the Lord Yahweh, because you have set your heart as the heart of God, therefore, behold, I will bring strangers on you, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom, and they shall defile your brightness. They shall bring you down to the pit, and you shall die the death of those who are slain in the heart of the seas. Will you yet say before him who kills you, I am God? But you are man, and not God, in the hand of him who wounds you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken it, says the Lord Yahweh. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation over the king of Tyre, and tell him, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, You seal up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorned you, ruby, topaz, emerald, chrysolite, onyx, jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and beryl. Gold work of tambourines and of pipes was in you. In the day that you were created they were prepared. You were the anointed cherub who covers, and I set you so that you were on the holy mountain of God. You have walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways from the day that you were created, until unrighteousness was found in you. By the abundance of your traffic they filled the midst of you with violence, and you have sinned. Therefore I have cast you as profane out of the mountain of God, and I have destroyed you, covering cherub, 
from the midst of the stones of fire. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You have corrupted your wisdom by reason of your brightness. I have cast you to the ground. I have laid you before kings, that they may see you. By the multitude of your iniquities, in the unrighteousness of your traffic, you have profaned your sanctuaries. Therefore have I brought forth a fire from the midst of you. It has devoured you, and I have turned you to ashes on the earth, in the sight of all those who see you. All those who know you among the peoples shall be astonished at you. You are become a terror, and you shall never more have any being. The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward Sidon, and prophesy against it, and say, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against you, Sidon, and I shall be glorified in the midst of you, and they shall know that I am Yahweh, when I shall have executed judgments in her, and shall be sanctified in her. For I will send pestilence into her, and blood into her streets, and the wounded shall fall in the midst of her, with the sword on her on every side, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. There shall be no more a prickling briar to the house of Israel, nor a hurting thorn of any that are around them, that did despite to them, and they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, When I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the nations, then shall they dwell in their own land which I gave to my servant Jacob. They shall dwell securely therein. Yes, they shall build houses and plant vineyards, and shall dwell securely, when I have executed judgments on all those who do them despite all around them. And they shall know that I am Yahweh their God. Chapter 29 In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against you, Pharaoh king of Egypt, the great monster that lies in the midst of his rivers, that has said, My river is my own, and I have made it for myself. I will put hooks in your jaws, and I will make the fish of your rivers stick to your scales. And I will bring you up out of the midst of your rivers, with all the fish of your rivers which stick to your scales. I'll cast you forth into the wilderness, you and all the fish of your rivers. You'll fall in the open field. You won't be brought together, nor gathered. I have given you for food to the animals of the earth and to the birds of the sky. All the inhabitants of Egypt will know that I am Yahweh, because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel. When they took hold of you by their hand, you broke and tore all their shoulders. And when they leaned on you, you broke and paralyzed all of their thighs. Therefore thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will bring a sword on you, and will cut off from you man and animal. The land of Egypt shall be a desolation and a waste. And they shall know that I am Yahweh. Because he has said, the river is mine, and I have made it. Therefore, behold, I am against you, and against your rivers, and I will make the land of Egypt an utter waste and desolation, from the tower of Savina, even to the border of Ethiopia. No foot of man shall pass through it, nor foot of animal shall pass through it, neither shall it be inhabited forty years. I will make the land of Egypt a desolation in the midst of the countries that are desolate and her cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be a desolation forty years. And I shall scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and will disperse them through the countries. For thus says the Lord Yahweh, At the end of forty years will I gather the Egyptians from the peoples where they are scattered, and I will bring back the captivity of Egypt, and will cause them to return to the land of Pathros, to the land of their birth, and they shall be there a base kingdom. It shall be the base of the kingdoms, neither shall it any more lift up above the nations. And I will diminish them, that they shall no more rule over the nations. It shall be no more the confidence of the house of Israel, bringing iniquity to memory, when they turn to look after them. And they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. It came to pass in the seven and twentieth year, in the first month, in the first day of the month, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, 
Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to serve a great service against Tyre. Every head was made bald, and every shoulder was worn. Yet had he no wages, nor his army from Tyre, for the service that he had served against it. Therefore thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall carry off her multitude, and take her spoil, and take her prey, and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt as his recompense for which he served, because they worked for me, says the Lord Yahweh. In that day will I cause a horn to bud forth to the house of Israel, and I will give you the opening of the mouth in the midst of them, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Chapter 30 The word of Yahweh came again to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, and say, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Wail, alas for the day! For the day is near, even the day of Yahweh is near. It shall be a day of clouds, a time of the nations. A sword shall come on Egypt, and anguish shall be in Ethiopia, when the slain shall fall in Egypt. And they shall take away her multitude, and her foundations shall be broken down. Ethiopia, and Put, and Lud, and all the mixed people, and Cub, and the children of the land that is in league, shall fall with them by the sword. Thus says Yahweh, They also who uphold Egypt shall fall, and the pride of her power shall come down. From the tower of the Sevena shall they fall in it by the sword, says the Lord Yahweh. They shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and her cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted. They shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have set a fire in Egypt, and all her helpers are destroyed. In that day shall messengers go forth from before me in ships to make the careless Ethiopians afraid, and there shall be anguish on them, as in the day of Egypt. For behold, it comes. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, I shall also make the multitude of Egypt to cease, by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon. He and his people with him, the terrible of the nations, shall be brought in to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Egypt, and fill the land with the slain. I will make the rivers dry, and I will sell the land into the hand of evil men, and I will make the land desolate, and all that is therein by the hand of strangers. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, I will also destroy the idols, and I will cause the images to cease from Memphis, and there shall be no more a prince from the land of Egypt, and I will put a fear in the land of Egypt. I will make Pathros desolate, and I shall set a fire in Zoan, and will execute judgments on No. I will pour forth my wrath on Sin, the stronghold of Egypt, and I will cut off the multitude of No. I will set a fire in Egypt, Sin shall be in great anguish, and No shall be broken up, and Memphis shall have adversaries in the daytime. The young men of Avon and of Pibeseth shall fall by the sword, and these cities shall go into captivity. At Tehaphnehes also the day shall withdraw itself, when I shall break there the yokes of Egypt, and the pride of her power shall cease in her. As for her, a cloud shall cover her, and her daughters shall go into captivity. Thus will I execute judgments on Egypt, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. It happened in the eleventh year, in the first month, in the seventh day of the month, that the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh king of Egypt, and behold, it has not been bound up, to apply healing medicines, to put a bandage to bind it, that it be strong to hold the sword. Therefore thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against Pharaoh king of Egypt, and I will break his arms, the strong arm, and that which is broken, and I will cause the sword to fall out of his hand. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and will disperse them through the countries. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and put my sword in his hand. But I will break the arms of Pharaoh, and he shall groan before him with the groanings of a deadly wounded man. I will hold up the arms of the king of Babylon, and the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down. And they shall know that I am Yahweh, when I shall put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he will stretch it out on the land of Egypt. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and disperse them through the countries, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. 
Chapter 31 It happened in the eleventh year, in the third month, in the first day of the month, that the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, tell Pharaoh king of Egypt, and to his multitude, Whom are you like in your greatness? Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with beautiful branches, and with a forest-like shade, and of high stature, and its top was among the thick boughs. The waters nourished it, the deep made it to grow. Its rivers ran all around its plantation, and it sent out its channels to all the trees of the field. Therefore its stature was exalted above all the trees of the field, and its boughs were multiplied, and its branches came long by reason of many waters, when it shot them forth. All the birds of the sky made their nests in its boughs, and under its branches did all the animals of the field bring forth their young and under its shadow lived all great nations. Thus it was beautiful in its greatness, in the length of its branches, for its root was by many waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide it, the fir trees were not like its boughs, and the plane trees were not as its branches, nor was any tree in the garden of God like it in its beauty. I made it beautiful by the multitude of its branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied it. Therefore thus says the Lord Yahweh, Because you are exalted in stature, and he has set his top among the thick boughs, and his heart is lifted up in its height, I will even deliver him into the hand of the mighty one of the nations. He shall surely deal with him. I have driven him out for his wickedness. Strangers, the terrible of the nations, have cut him off, and have left him. On the mountains and in all the valleys his branches are fallen, and his boughs are broken by all the watercourses of the land. And all the peoples of the earth are gone down from his shadow, and have left him. On his ruin all the birds of the sky shall dwell, and all the animals of the field shall be on his branches. To the end that none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves in their stature, neither set their top among the thick boughs, nor that their mighty ones stand up on their height, even all who drink water for they are all delivered to death, to the lower parts of the earth, in the midst of the children of men, with those who go down to the pit. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, In the day when he went down to Sheol I caused a mourning. I covered the deep for him, and I restrained its rivers. And the great waters were stayed, and I caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees of the field fainted for him. I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall, when I cast him down to Sheol with those who descend into the pit. And all the trees of Eden, the choice and best of Lebanon, all that drink water, were comforted in the lower parts of the earth. They also went down to Sheol with him, to those who are slain by the sword. Yes, those who were his arm, that lived under his shadow in the midst of the nations. To whom are you thus like in glory and in greatness among the trees of Eden? yet you will be brought down with the trees of Eden to the lower parts of the earth. You shall lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with those who are slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all his multitude, says the Lord Yahweh. Chapter 32 It happened in the twelfth year, in the twelfth month, on the first day of the month, that the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation over Pharaoh king of Egypt, and tell him, you were likened to a young lion of the nations. Yet are you as a monster in the seas, and you did break forth with your rivers, and troubled the waters with your feet, and fouled their rivers. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, I will spread out my net on you with a company of many peoples, and they shall bring you up in my net. I will leave you on the land, I will cast you forth on the open field, and will cause all the birds of the sky to settle on you, and I will satisfy the animals of the whole earth with you. I will lay your flesh on the mountains, and fill the valleys with your height. I will also water with your blood the land in which you swim, even to the mountains, and the watercourses shall be full of you. When I shall extinguish you, I will cover the heavens and make its stars dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give its light. All the bright lights of the sky will I make dark over you, and set darkness on your land, says the Lord Yahweh. I will also trouble the hearts of many peoples, when I shall bring your destruction among the nations, into the countries which you have not known. 
yes i will make many peoples amazed at you and their kings shall be horribly afraid for you when i shall brandish my sword before them and they shall tremble at every moment every man for his own life in the day of your fall for thus says the lord yahweh the sword of the king of babylon shall come on you by the swords of the mighty will i cause your multitude to fall the terrible of the nations are they all and they shall bring to nothing the pride of egypt and all its multitude shall be destroyed i will destroy also all its animals from beside many waters neither shall the foot of man trouble them any more nor the hoofs of animals trouble them then will i make their waters clear and cause their rivers to run like oil says the lord yahweh when i shall make the land of egypt desolate and waste a land destitute of that which it was full when i shall strike all those who dwell therein then shall they know that i am yahweh this is the lamentation with which they shall lament the daughters of the nations shall lament therewith over egypt and over all her multitude shall they lament therewith says the lord yahweh it happened also in the twelfth year in the fifteenth day of the month that the word of yahweh came to me saying son of man wail for the multitude of egypt and cast them down even her and the daughters of the famous nations to the lower parts of the earth with those who go down to the pit whom do you pass in beauty go down and be laid with the uncircumcised they shall fall in the midst of those who are slain by the sword she is delivered to the sword draw her away and all her multitudes the strong among the mighty shall speak to him out of the midst of sheol with those who help him they are gone down they lie still even the uncircumcised slain by the sword asher is there and all her company her graves are all around her all of them slain fallen by the sword whose graves are set in the uppermost parts of the pit and her company is around her grave all of them slain fallen by the sword who caused terror in the land of the living there is elam and all her multitude around her grave all of them slain fallen by the sword who are gone down uncircumcised into the lower parts of the earth, who caused their terror in the land of the living, and have borne their shame with those who go down to the pit. They have set her abed in the midst of the slain, with all her multitude. Her graves are around her, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword. For their terror was caused in the land of the living, and they have borne their shame with those who go down to the pit. He is put in the midst of those who are slain. There is Meshech, Tubal, and all their multitude. Their graves are around them, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, for they caused their terror in the land of the living. They shall not lie with the mighty who are fallen of the uncircumcised, who are gone down to Sheol with their weapons of war, and have laid their swords under their heads, and their iniquities are on their bones. For they were the terror of the mighty of the land of the living. But you shall be broken in the midst of the uncircumcised, and shall lie with those who are slain by the sword. There is Edom, her kings, and all her princes, who in their might are laid with those who are slain by the sword. They shall lie with the uncircumcised, and with those who go down to the pit. There are the princes of the north, all of them, and all the Sidonians, who are gone down with the slain. In the terror which they caused by their might they are put to shame, and they lie uncircumcised with those who are slain by the sword and bear their shame with those who go down to the pit. Pharaoh shall see them, and shall be comforted over all his multitude, even Pharaoh and all his army, slain by the sword, says the Lord Yahweh. For I have put his terror in the land of the living, and he shall be laid in the midst of the uncircumcised, with those who are slain by the sword, even Pharaoh and all his multitude, says the Lord Yahweh. End of chapters 25 through 32